Yo, what's up to all my phone names and phone nets out there, you feel me? Finna uh put y'all on this assume name certificate game. A lot of y'all been asking for this and y'all want me to show y'all how to do it, so I'm finna show y'all how to do it real quick, you feel me? So first I'll go on Google, type in Minnesota Secretary of State. Cause this is the way I live. Little boy still pushing big with. I got my money lay low and chill. I need to work hard. That's the way. Yeah. Are right, you scroll down, fam? Click register a business right here, like so. You feel me? Like I said, scroll down right here. Click that. You gonna have to create an online account. You feel me? So boom, 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 boom. We wop the bam. We do what you gotta do. Create that account. Then after that, you go to step two, which is business filings online. Cut. Check it out, kid. Uh, you want to go down to assume name. It's the first thing. You scroll down. As soon as you click search business filings or whatever business filings online, whatever I just said, could you just scroll down, fam, and hit assume name. Boom. It's going to cost you $50 at the end, cuz. So have that $50 ready, cuz. Then you want to type your full name in all capital letters, bro. Right here, fam. First, middle, last. Just like that, cuz. Just like how when the court be sending your papers, and when they send you mail, and they have your name all capital letters, just like that, first, middle, last. It's gonna say your name is available, cuz, you know, shouldn't nobody have made an assumed name in Minnesota in your full name already, you feel me, so. If somebody did already, I don't know what to tell you, cuz. All right. Now, I got my Minnesota business name, John Henry Doe, up here at the top, you feel me? But this is the important part. For first name, you're going to put Doe with your last name. But you're not going to put it in all capitals. See how it's all capitals? Nope. Boom. It got to be upper and lower. That's very important, bro. Not the all capitals, bro. You're going to skip the middle. And for your last... Hold on, hold on, hold on. This is important, too. Put the comma after your last name. I almost forgot that. Put the comma after your last name. Now you go over here to last, put John Henry. Because that's your Christian name. And birth certificates actually used to say that. For your uh, first and middle, it is a uh, Christian name, you feel me? Uh, now it's called what, a given name? They'll put like given name. But your first and middle is your given name or your Christian name. That's your real name. Your last name don't really belong to you. That's just showing what family you come from. And, and it's just like why the courts got us swearing on these Bibles, you feel me? But nobody in the Bible had a last name, you know? All right, so do it just like that, upper, lower. You put your first and middle in the last name slot. You put your last name in the first name slot with a comma after it. Put your address. Um, one, two, three, four. Hold on, no, this is important too. Just like what we did on the passport application, we're putting in care of, because this is just why I received my mail. This, I'm not, this is not putting me in any fictional jurisdiction, none of that crap. So we're going to put C slash O for in care of. One, two, three, four, any place street. And notice how I'm not using all capitals, because again, I don't want to be putting myself in, a, in that commercial jurisdiction. And then I'm spelling out street. I'm not putting ST, none of that. Putting me up into that commercial jurisdiction using the mailing address and stuff like that, you know. I'm putting the actual physical place. None of that legal fiction crap going on. All right, city. Um, Chicago. I'm finna spell out the whole. Now this is important too. I'm putting the. I'm putting the um. The zip code in brackets. That's very important, bro. Because again, when you put a zip code, you putting yourself within their jurisdiction, bro. You're saying you're within that legal fiction, you feel me? It's, it's, I'll explain that in a different video, but just know you need to put 
brackets on this right now so you're not putting yourself within their 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 fake commercial jurisdiction bro and for the extension put usa for the country it say usa but i'm gonna spell it out matter of fact you could put you just put usa right here but you can spell it out if you want like this Save name holder. Boom. Then it's going to show you something like that. Yep, looking all good. Go ahead and click next. The principal place of business. So where, where are you going to have this? Where are you getting your assumed name registered to? Where are you going to have it? Where are you going to have the address for this, for this assumed name? Which is most likely going to be the same as your regular address, you feel me? So, again... C O one two three four any place street and I'm spelling out the whole thing. I'm not using abbreviations, none of that stuff. City Chicago. I'm not using all capital letters. And it just trying to stay away from corporation, trying to stay away from that corporation stuff at all costs. Then I'm spelling out the whole Illinois. Zip code again, putting it in brackets. USA at the end. And like I said, you can you you can leave the country as USA or you can actually type in United States of America. I, I kinda like typing in United States of America so they know, yeah, of America. I'm putting emphasis on that. United States of America. But anyways, let's carry on. Mailing address, again, you know, same thing probably. CO, one, two, three, four, any place, street, you feel me? Go ahead and do that again. Chicago, Illinois, 60608. Oh, forgot the brackets. Don't forget the brackets, cuz. You cannot forget the brackets, G. We need those. USA. United States. Of America. Boom. We don't need no attachment. Skip that. Delivery. All right, so for delivery, throw your motherfucking email, your motherfucking um, phone number up in there, like so. Doe, comma. I put the last name for the first, and then for for the last name, I'm gonna put my first in my middle. Upper lowercase. Remember that. Don't forget the comma after your last name. Remember, you're putting your last name in the first name slot with the comma after it. And you're putting your first and middle in the um, last. All right. Damn. Go and type your email in. Boom, keep it moving. Skip that. This is so you can get your uh so you can get an email to your email and stuff. So go ahead and type your email again. Then 
In case the guy sends you anything important, they know how to get a hold of you. All right, and you don't got to fill out this part. It says right here, again, this survey is voluntary and the answers are considered public data. Thank you. But no, thank you. I don't need none of my business to be on public data. You feel me? Like I said, we're trying to separate the public from the private. So let's keep it moving. Boom. And just like that, you all done. You feel me? Just like that. Now you just get an email to you. All good to go. And then you would submit it. And uh, have your debit card, credit card, whatever. If you got a credit card, use your credit card, steady your debit card so you can build your credit. Y'all know how I am about that, you feel me? And again, this is to give you another layer of protection, you feel me? Because when you go in there, they're going to be looking for John Henry Doe in all capital letters. But when you go in there, you can prove that John Henry Doe is just a legal fiction. And you won't have to argue with him. You'll have the assumed name right there to prove that that's just a corporation. You feel me? Then y'all sitting here trying to call a corporation in here because uh, I'm and, and then you could tell them I'm just John. That's it. I'm not John Henry Doe. None of that. I'm just John. When you go in there and they are you John Henry Doe? No, I'm just John. That's what I am on some real stuff. Y'all got me swearing on this Bible, but in the Bible, nobody had last names. I'm just John. That's who I am. On some real stuff, fam. This John Henry Doe in all capital letters is that corporation y'all created for me. After my birth certificate was was registered, you feel me? Y'all gave me a social security number. That's where that all capital letters name came from. But besides that, I was never that. That I'm just shit. That's just a, a a corporation I used to conduct business. That's it. That's all. And that's what helped. This was help you prove that. So then after that, you have to go to your county once you uh, print off because they're gonna email you something. You're gonna have to print off that stuff. They gonna give you like a certificate, whatever. You print that off. You gotta take that up to one of your county newspapers, whatever newspaper that's considered considered a county newspaper. You gotta follow the rules and publish it in that newspaper for however long they say. So you know, it, some one county might be you just gotta publish it three days in a row. Another county might be three weeks in a row. So one time a week, three weeks in a row. That's how my county was. You feel me? So. You would do that, then after your weeks is up or your days are up, the newspaper is going to send you an affidavit. They're going to send you a certification of publication, bro. And it's going to be on like bomb. Well, mine was on like bomb paper, that different type of tougher paper, whatever, fam. And it's going to be the whole um the, the whole publication you put in the newspaper. And it's an affidavit, you feel me? So you got that. That's proof that you put it on public record once. Then you're going to take it up to your county recorder. Take it up to your county recorder and you're going to record it into the county recorder so now you just put it on public record twice you're just going to take the affidavit the certification of publication that the newspaper sent you you're going to take it up to your county recorder and have them record that in the county recorder and now it's on public record twice so anytime you go into court there's no excuse you put it on public record twice that this is a, a assumed name this is a doing business as it can be called a dba too so, you know, somebody might call it a DBA, a DBA and assume name is the same thing. But the whole point we're doing this for is to prove that you are separate from the corporation at all caps name and all capital letters. And they like to use Minnesota because Minnesota is like the only place that names you as the name holder to prove you're not the name. You're just the name holder you feel me you're the executor of that name you're the beneficiary that's it but you are not the name do not be the name that is a legal fiction it is a corporation and they're gonna screw you if you if you claim to be the name because they own the name understand that i hope y'all learned something from this man do your thing man uh i get the info up on how to trademark your name how to copyright your name i get that up soon that's more expensive than this this is cheaper to 50 dollars then it's also cheaper when you go Publicize it in the newspaper. It's cheaper than doing a copyright, you feel me? So uh, y'all been asking for this more than the, the copyrighted name anyway. So I gave y'all this first. Here y'all go. Do y'all thing. Make sure y'all get them passports filled out. You know, become an American national, a.k.a. state citizen or state national, whatever you want to call it. Some people don't like using the word citizen at all, which I understand. I understand that totally. So some people will say state national instead of state citizen. But even the 
even the U.S. government itself recognizes state citizen, like on some real shit. American national and state citizen is the same thing, bro. But anyways, uh, I'm out, y'all.